Uh, thirdly, the, against the idea that the material world is just an illusion. Pantheism, of course, says it's just an illusion. It's, it's the snake. It's actually not letting you know anything about ultimate reality. And Christianity comes along and says, no, you can read the Psalms. You can read Romans 1 where it's saying, when you look at creation, creation actually can teach you things about God. And it's not something other than pointing you toward what's real. Creation actually helps you learn about what's real. It reveals God to us. It's not a hindrance to experiencing ultimate reality, but a means. C.S. Lewis, uh, in his book on miracles, said this, miracles are in later documents recorded of the Buddha. But what could be more absurd than that? He who came to teach us that nature is an illusion from which we must escape should occupy himself in producing effects on the natural level that he who comes to wake us from the nightmare should add to the nightmare. The more we respect his teachings, the less we could accept his miracles. And so the idea of the physicality is an illusion. Now, Christianity comes along and it affirms the physical world in some of the most beautiful ways. Genesis chapter one says God created the world and he called it what? What? Good. It's an amazing thing. He, he creates the, 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 the stars and the moon and the fish and the birds and, and then he keeps calling it and day one was done and he called it good and day two was good and he called it, or day two was done and he called it good and day three was done and he called it good. And then it says he created humankind and he looked on creation and he said what? This is very good. It's this beautiful kind of climax to his whole creation where I put in my, 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 my identity. I stamped it on these people. This is what humankind is. Humankind is made in the Christian worldview in, in the image of God. And so the physical world is affirmed as real, as something you can touch and feel and taste. And it tells you, Romans 1 says, about the character of God, that he's organized, that he has a plan, that there's design, that he's going, that he communicates. This is what Psalm 19 says. It's about the glory of God. So you can trust. If it, now, here's another great affirmation that Christianity is, is very unique. Christianity comes along, Jesus comes along, and he affirms that the great hope of Christianity, and I know many of us don't, necessarily think this way because the church has oftentimes mistaught this, but that the ultimate hope and the goal of history is a, a resurrection hope, which is an affirmation of physicality in the most extreme way. Because what it says is God, oftentimes we pitch the story this way. God created the physical world as real, and then it went wonky and Satan came in and there was sin and there was destruction. So what God did is he changed the plan and he said, okay, now my plan is to take all these souls up to a disembodied spirit world where they're going to be on clouds, eating Philadelphia cream cheese and diapers, playing music, and that's going to be eternity. And then you, in your soul, find it hard. All right, I'm not going to ask you to raise hands, but who feels, finds it hard to get jacked up about that? Like there's a reason you sat in church as a kid and went, I don't want to end up in a diaper. I don't want to end up in a disembodied spirit world. Now, why? Because God made you physical. And so what happens is, is trying to get an appetite for a non-physical eternity is like trying to get an appetite for sand. It's not how you were created. You were created to say physical good. I have a body. And the hope of the Bible is that God is going to resurrect the earth. There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. And the soul that goes to be with God for a time is reunited with its body. And that's the final state of all things. A resurrected humankind in a physical new creation. This is an affirmation of the physical world. To say this is what matters. This is what is meaningful. And this is the hope of everything.